paper usually belongs to a major research exist in which we are so still well. Hello. Hello everyone. I am from the University of Brasilia and I am here to present the paper Electrical Noise Simulation A Practical Approach for ATP ATP Draw Studies. This paper has been developed in partnership with my colleagues Nilo Ribeiro from Eletronort, Gustavo Cunha, Thiago Honorato, and Professor Kleber Silva from University of Brasilia. This paper is motivated by the increasing importance of transient-based power system monitoring functions. Indeed, a lot of high-speed protection and fault location algorithms have been reported in the literature and also embedded in an actual device which analyzes instantaneous values and travel waves in time domain. In this case, the analysis of high-frequency components is of utmost importance and so, the electrical noise influence can be critical because they can distort the signals as shown in this figure here. So, a way to evaluate the electrical noise influence during the development of time domain functions, the use of real systems waveform that contain already noise present in the waveforms is a good choice. However, real records are not always available in such a way that the way to, to best represent these transients is using electromagnetic transient program, called here EMTP programs. Even so, even when we use EMTP programs, we have noticed the need for electrical noise simulation directly in the simulation platform. In such a way that in this paper we propose the, uh, a solution to emulate noises in the alternative transient program, which is a type of EMTP program that has been widely used worldwide. Um, when we do not have real-time simulators available, the ATP can be used to simulate power systems in order to test real device. To do so, playback tests based on contract files generated by ADP are used. Uh, and looking towards the simulation of noise, we can think that the emulation of electrical noise directly in ATP environment could be a good choice. However, to do so, the, language, the model's language available in ADP environment would be required to be used, but this programming language, uh, it's the, the routines implemented using this programming language are applied dynamically during the simulation, and this language uh, has a reduced number of functions in such a way that emulating electrical noise by means of these routines could be not practical. Another way to, to think about noise simulation, considering signals taken from ATP, is to export ATP records and use external programming or mathematical platforms in order to create noise signals and then to export them directly to the device to be tested. However, in this case, we would need to generate contract files, which is also uh, a task that can be complicated for many people and depending on the, the, the format of these contract files, uh, the format required to, to, to build these files. So, the proposal in this paper consists on interacting the ADP with the MATLAB program which is considered um, a, a good mathematical platform with promptly available functions that are capable of simulating electrical noise, then we take these noise signals 
uh, import back into ADP environment, which is then responsible to generate contract files that can be used to test real device. This is our main goal here. And the proposed solution is divided into three simple steps. The first one consists in the electrical noise generation. Basically, we here simulate the power system using the ATP ATP draw. And so we have as a result the seek in, which is a signal without noise. Then these signals are imported into MATLAB where we use this very simple routine here to, to add a white Gaussian noise into the input signal seek in. To do so, we consider uh, an user defined signal to noise ratio, which is proportional to the measured power in the input signal, considering a given seed a random stream to generate this noise. And so, as a result, we have the signal signal here. And then, by subtracting the noisy signal with the seek in, from this, uh, uh, the seek in from the noise signal signal, we can estimate a pure noise signal, which is called here uh, noise. Uh, this procedure is also performed in MATLAB environment. Then, in the second step, we take this noise signal and we upload its samples into the empirical source type 1 available in ATP ATP draw in such a way that we can reproduce into the ATP environment the obtained noise signal. Finally, we just take this empirical source and we connect the source into an emulation noise circuit in which we take the signals from the system and the noise signal, we transform these signals into tax variables in order to allow their, uh, their superposition and then we take the, the obtained noisy tax signal into a system signal by means of tax source. So we can do this procedure, we can carry this procedure out to voltages and currents in uh, the same way, just uh, paying attention to the types of this source you are using. So to demonstrate it's a, such an application, we considered a, a transmission line modeled in ATP ATP draw, and this, this transmission line was modeled considering real data taken from a, a line in operation in Brazil. And in each line end, we connected the noise emulation circuits in order to add noise to voltages and currents. And then we simulated also some faults in order to illustrate a practical example uh, to which the proposed approach could be useful. So here we illustrate some results. We can see that uh, by varying the signal to noise ratio, we indeed emulate different uh, uh, noise levels as expected, uh, so that we, we can control these noise levels, varying the case from uh, only a slight noise case to a very critical noise case here, as you can see here. And Finally, just to, to demonstrate a practical application, an example of traveling wave studies, if we consider a signal, uh, a, a fault record here, taken from a current transformer, uh, if we consider a zoomed area here, we would see in the microsecond time scale some steps. And these steps are related to the moment at which traveling waves reach the Montoro terminal. So, in practice, we, we have in the market today uh, some device that use a, a, a filtering uh, process to extract travel waves information, the, which respond to step change as a triangle shaped outputs. And when we consider different noise levels, we can see that 
the noise presence can affect the visualization or even the detection of these transients which are usually required by many travel wave based solutions. So, as conclusions, we can say that the proposed approach takes advantage of the ADP transient simulation functions. Indeed, EMTP tests are the most realistic, realistic ones that can be carried out uh, in today's technology. Uh, existing MATLAB electrical noise simulation functions are also taken into account so that we can simulate different signal-to-noise ratio values from the measured input signal power. Uh, and as a final conclusion, we can state that the proposed approach is useful for tests in real device, tests in ATP, ATP draw models, and also to reproduce real noise into the ATP environment. So we really believe that the proposed approach can be useful for many research around the world. So that's it. Thank you for your attention. This paper usually belongs to a major research. Uh, which we are so well. Hello.